Hey guys, Will or Lolio here, and today I want to talk about something I don't think a lot of other people have picked up on yet, and that's that Watcher has made a post on the forums talking about guild leveling and the changes they're making to it in Warlords of Draenor. So what changes are they making? Well, they're flat out removing all guild levels. So why are they doing that? Well, basically, because they feel that instead of guild leveling being a reward for a group effort, it feels much more like a penalty overall. So one of Blizzard's design philosophies is to make things feel like a bonus. That's one of the reasons they removed hidden expertise. They felt more like a penalty for not being capped rather than a bonus for being capped. It was one of those things that everyone did rather than some people doing it and feeling good about themselves. It was something you had to do. And guild leveling has become one of those things as well where everyone is in a level 25 guild. If you're not in one, you're doing something wrong and you feel handicapped if you're not. A guild feels very weak if they don't have things like mass res, or any of the experience perks, or any any perk really. If you're not level 25, you feel handicapped, and you're out of the loop, and you don't feel like you're a real guild until you hit level 25. Now this used to be a much bigger problem, because in Cataclysm there were caps on experience gains, and only high level quests counted towards the uh, experience. Now in Pandaria, they made it quite a bit easier to level up the guild and to get guild reputation, and that, that helped a lot, but it didn't solve the underlying problem. So the goal here is to make you feel like you can join a smaller, lower level guild with your friends, rather than being forced to join or even buy a level 25 one. Because think of how hard it is to start a guild right now, it's almost impossible. I remember back in Cataclysm I tried to start one, and I had to go out and buy a guild because no one was going to join a level 1 guild, it was ridiculous. Now, if you're wondering how they're going to handle perks, well, most of them are going to be baked in. So they'll either be baseline for all players, like Flight Pass will just move faster, and Justice and Honor Point costs will be rebalanced to account for everyone having the perk. My guess is Hasty Hearth will also be included, because 15 minute Hearthstone is awesome, and I don't want to go back to 30 minutes. Other perks will still require you to be in a guild, but because there's no guild levels, just being in the guild will grant you these things. So that's a faster mount speed, mass res, and instant mail between guildmates. Guild achievements are also going to remain as is. All the rewards for doing dungeon runs and raids are going to stay the same. The reason why is because those actually do reward collective accomplishments whereas guild level often only rewards one person. One perk mentioned specifically was cash flow. A lot of people rely on this for repairs because it can generate quite a bit of gold depending on if you have active players or not. But because they say it causes degenerate behavior, this one's being removed. And I agree in that whenever you log in to an alt, a level 1 character on some server, you're gonna get invited to a guild immediately. Probably several guilds. You just get this massive amount of spam, just random people using add-ons to invite you, not because they care about you joining their guild, but because they want to have more members, and they want to level up the guild, and that usually they want to loot the bank, right? They want to get the cash flow going, and they'll just take all the gold. You probably have no access to the bank, no access to repairs, and really, that's not the kind of behavior Blizzard wants to encourage, but it's been going on for a couple years now, and it's really not something they want to have around anymore. So by removing cash flow, by removing guild leveling, that whole environment is going to be gone. I don't think you're going to see these huge guilds that just kind of funnel members in to level up the guild and then they kick everybody out and, you, and you know that's the end of it. I don't think you'll see that anymore after this. Watcher does go on to mention that guilds do need to have ways to finance the repairs, and they're going to offer alternatives and possibly more lucrative options rather than cash flow. One of the things he mentions is bringing back a BOE drops in raids which I think is awesome. I definitely miss the bind on equip things from like Firelands. Uh, there's always so much excitement whenever those drop if they're really good. Whereas I think we've been missing that in Pandaria. Everything that drops is BOP and if you don't have that particular class or whatever in your raid it really sucks. Anyway, that's all the details we really have here. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.